Alright guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the 3 Doodler Create, which is a 3D printer pen. I want to know, can you use it to repair plastic, such as a busted gumball machine body? I found this gumball machine, it was a double machine with a base in the trash, along with enough parts to build the second machine. The problem with it is, other than obviously there's no key for the lock, so I had to order new locks, is the vending door is supposed to go on right here. And as you can see, there's no tabs to retain it, so it just falls off. The little tabs are broken off. So I'm going to try to 3D print new ones. I'm going to move the body aside for now and open the three doodler which I have played with I've had this for I'm gonna say about a year and a half I've only made a handful of things for like the kids I made some stuff for the wife but I haven't tried to repair plastic with it your instructions which it's actually kind of annoying to try to find the English section of it but it's in there keep looking now, I've bought a lot of extra filaments, a lot of them. All right, I have glow in the dark down here. I've got flexi, there's glossy PLA, and ABS. I've got a couple different kinds of ABS. So there's all of that. This is the closest I could find to this plastic which is ABS and this is kind of a teal green so I'm gonna have to paint the body which is fine by me because I really don't like the color green I just I don't like it it's never done anything for me so I'm going to grab an extra filament out or rod out of the pack and we're gonna set this thing aside grab the three doodler itself Pretty good looking thing. This was the $100 model um, opposed to the little, I guess you can call it like the $30 model they sell in just like the kids crafting area. I hear that one's not very good, but I guess it's a good place to start. Now you'll notice there's a switch on here for high and low and on the back of each one of your filament packs it will show you the recommended temperature setting. So ABS should be set on high. Everything's very nicely packaged. It does come with some rods when you first buy it. You plug it in, it will turn red. When it's ready to go, I believe it turns blue. In the meantime, while this is heating up, I'm gonna go wash where the ears are supposed to be on this piece to make sure there's no residual grease because it looks like this may have been in somebody's kitchen. I will insert this rod into the three doodler and click slow. You have slow and fast. So it's going to twist it and slowly push it in. If you can see it, it's actually twisting the filament very slowly. And then the material will start to emerge from the tip. I'm going to wait for any air pockets to come out. You can kind of hear it farting a little bit. And then you click slow again and it will stop. And then you can just pull it right off. The objective is since the tip does get really hot, I mean, it's really hot. It's able to keep the plastic fairly molten. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig the nozzle into the surface of the machine body here. Just dig it into the existing plastic, get it good and soft. And then I'm gonna inject new ABS into that molten area. I'm just gonna continue until we have a decent base. Now I'm going to stop for a second and see if I can't mold it. Try to get a lot of the voids and empty space out of it. And I'm guessing I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to file this down. I'm going to do this in stages. Just build it and file it and build it and file it. I have a file ready. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut down the useless material 
because right now the part is kind of this shaped. What I want to do is I want to burn into the bottom and then build my way up to make a vertical tab. So now that we have a very clean seam where it's at, I will burn into the base of it with the nozzle, pressing on slow, and I will continue making this tab. Good thing about warm ABS is it sure does file away fast. So, all right, guys, here's our tab. It looks to be fairly well incorporated into the piece. It's extremely strong. I can't break it off. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I could if I used pliers or something, but here is our door, and we're going to see if it fits in there. And it appears to. Gap seems nice, doors closing all the way. So it appears all I need to do now is replace this one and I can put the machine back together and see how we did. It did blend into the original plastic very well. They are very, very strong. I can actually flex them back and forth and the, the whole piece flexes, not just the tip. So these are not coming off. Now, for the moment of truth, I did have to file them and take a razor knife to kind of get where the little tab, little retaining areas are cleared out. But that looks like a repaired gumball machine body. That'll work. Let's put it back together. All right, and here's the completed product. The door does open and shut. Tabs aren't giving way. Take a nice, crisp Texas quarter. Drop it in. It seems to work just fine. I think it's ready to clean these things up and put some candy in them. But I think that will be a separate video. All right, guys, just on a quick side note, to eject your filament, do not just pull it straight out. You double click any speed and it will flash and you'll hear it going through a process. What it's doing it is twisting and shimmying the filament out and it'll cut it off so you can pull it out. When it stops this process, just pull it out and wait for this to cool and put it back in the box. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought of the 3 Doodler Create and how it handled the gumball machine body. Give me a thumbs up if this video was informative. I will put a link to the three doodler in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.